<clears throat> what is going on, fellas? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I gotta apologize about last night. I was real sleepy and shit. And, uh, yeah. Being stupid. Sorry about that. Yeah, I fucked up. I found some old, uh, candy bars. Popsicles, man. And, uh, yeah. They were, they were pretty old. And, uh, I ate them. Cause I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> and, uh, I got pretty sick, and, uh, yeah, got pretty sick, and, uh, I had to go to the bathroom, I had the runs, like, four times in the morning, so, yeah, that sucked, dude, yeah, don't be a dumbass like me, that was a dumbass thing to do, what was I thinking, I was even eating the goddamn thing, going, this tastes a little weird, but whatever, <laughs> yeah, so I'm fucking crazy. Don't do what I did. Anyways, yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, sorry for being super tired and stupid. And um, also, sorry for... I I remember once saying that in 2002, Mario Sunshine, Metroid Prime, and Wind Waker all came out that year. Uh, yeah, I'm a jackass. I was wrong. Wind Waker was the one that didn't come out that year it came out the year after so whatever sorry i just feel stupid about saying that so just just trying to correct the record there anyways um so yeah check it out i got badass uh strats here green one maple neck sunburst uh rosewood neck yeah, uh, it's some kind of, like, select badass rosewood from, uh, War Moth. This is, like, a special neck. Yeah, it's, it's really badass. And, uh, yeah, this maple neck was actually the first electric guitar neck I ever owned. So, yep, it's badass. Both of these are super nice. Super badass. All right, so anyway, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's, I always do, oh, check it out, Jimmy, check it out, man, check it out, dude, <laughs> look at that, isn't that, isn't that great, look at that shit, man, pink, bro, well, it's like a, you know, multicolored pink, it looks trippy as fuck, right? And then we got a purple one over here. Huh, that's interesting. I'm looking at it uh, I'm looking at it on the camera and then I'm looking at it in real life. Camera real life. Camera real life. Yeah, real life looks a little bit better. It's too bright. It doesn't look as nice. But, you know, it still looks pretty sick, right? Yep. Badass. So, yeah, man, just uh, send me your shipping address info and whatnot, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll mail those bitches over to you. They're sick, dude. I like them. I think I'm going to make a couple for myself. Red and green, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe, like, one, oh yeah, how about that? These strats are my John Frusciante strats, you know? So, maybe I should fucking make two drink coasters that have uh, this kind of green here and this kind of uh, sunburst. Oh shit. Maybe I can pull that off. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Well, anyway, yeah, so... Um, Man, I've been working my ass off. I still have to bust my ass. But I'm making pretty good money, so... Whatever. Um, good shit. Here's a 98 neck that I got. American Standard. Pretty sick. And, uh, yeah, this is from the MJT boys. They hooked me up with one of these badasses. Fucking sick. I got some cool shit going on here. But yeah, I've been working a lot. Fuck. I need to get some rest soon. Yeah. 
<laughs> Man. Work, work, work. No time to play games. Like the Metroid game, dude. I'm still playing it. Uh, yeah, I need to get into it. What am I doing, right? Making a dumbass video instead of playing that kick-ass game. It's pretty badass, actually. Um... So, yeah, I remember, like, complaining, like, oh, the, the robots, they keep you from exploring, it's lame. And it's like, not, not really, you eventually start, like, killing them all, and then you can explore more freely and stuff, so. It, it's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wish I had more free time, man. Back, back when I was a kid, dude, stay up, like, for three days straight and shit, playing nothing but games and fucking... Laying on the edge of the bed on my tummy with my arms like sticking out and shit, holding the controller, looking up at the uh, TV like like I'm a fucking walrus or something <laughs> in that stretched out like uncomfortable position. Yeah, I used to be able to do that for like days and shit, but uh, ouch, that sounds painful now. Now that I'm a old bastard. No, but, you know, I'm just saying, man, work, 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 you know, like Larry David said, oh, yeah, I got it, I got it right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> can a motherfucker live a life? <laughs> Sometimes, no. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's so fucking funny, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you guys, uh, you saw that shit, you dig my fucking Zelda Christmas tree? Look at this goofy shit. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. But, anyways. Yeah, um. Fucking. Yeah, Halo Infinite campaign. Yeah, it's like Far Cry. Everybody keeps saying it's like a Ubisoft kind of thing, you know? So, yeah. Uh, more things that suck about Halo Infinity. Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, the glitchy Marines, they don't really stay in your, uh, uh, vehicle very much sometimes in the campaign. Like, if you're in a tank and you want Marines to jump onto your tank, apparently people were having issues with that. So, that's pretty funny. Um... Yeah, the Bulldog shotgun, it's pretty underpowered. People are just like, that gun is pathetic, you know. Uh, no guns really stand out as great or whatever, you know. Best gun, uh, best gun actually is like the grapple hook, honestly. Like, that's the most fun and interesting thing to use in the game. That's sort of like a projectile, you know. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the campaign trailers for uh, Halo Infinite basically show you everything that's in the game. It's kind of uh, lazy. Not not much content there, man. Yeah. Um, so that's lame. Uh, what are you going to do, you know? Um, oh, man. I'm, you got to... Get a drink. <sighs> I was going to say, the uh, ending of uh, Halo Infinity, it rings out really hollow, man. Like, there's this sweet moment with Cortana, but it's kind of weird because of the bad writing, and, you know, uh, whatever. It's, like, just a transmission. It's not actually the real Cortana. It's, like, a message that's been left for, uh, you know, da da Daddy Logan. Uh, hey, Logan. Hey, Logan. Yeah. Chief Hey, Logan. Uh, and uh, Cortina. Cortina there. His uh, new AI. And then, of course, Miguel Sanchez. Um, the pilot. Uh, so what ends up happening is, uh, Chief murders the shit out of the, uh, Harbinger, Harbinger dead, and then, uh, the place starts exploding, the leaks about the game were accurate, and, uh, they have to get the fuck out of there, and there's this portal, and they jump through it, not knowing what, what that's gonna do exactly, and, uh, uh, apparently time travel shit went down, maybe alternate reality crap happened, who knows, whatever, uh, strange stuff, 
mysteries to still be solved, who knows what'll happen, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, the pilot shows up, and Chief goes and sees the pilot, and the pilot is like, I'm so happy to see you, Chief, and hugs the Chief. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that goofy little guy, that fucking little garden gnome motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know, man, he's goofy. Uh, whatever, I, I kind of like him. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, yeah, um, it's just lame, that part of the game, because, you know, what do we do now, chief? <laughs> Finish the fight. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, I find it funny. It's, because it's just, like, oh, more fighting, huh? The fight's never fucking finished, is it, bro? Halo 2 was what? Fucking like 15 goddamn cocksucking years ago, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fucking shit, dude? Like, when will the fight end? Never. <laughs> Never. I'm the chief. My life is miserable. All I do is go to war. Fuck. <laughs> like, damn, dude. You ever drink a beer? Fucking chill the fuck out? Take a nap? Well, I don't know. Maybe he's like a battery, right? Like... Whenever he's in cryo, like, he can stay awake for as long as he slept. I don't know how he works. Whatever the fuck. Anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, it just rings out hollow, you know. Finish the fight. Finishing more fights. More DLC. More microtransactions. <laughs> My name is Chief, and fuck you, the player. Fuck you, playing this game right now. Microtransactions, dickhead. <laughs> My name is Steve Downs, and I say, <laughs> I say, suck on this fucking big microtransaction dick. Stick it up your ass. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, anyways, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, finishing the fight requires more money, you know? God damn it. <laughs> it just does. Uh, and uh, he also says in the game, uh, uh, you know, you know, I need a weapon, you know, like that again. Oh, God, okay. I don't know. I don't think uh, some of these callbacks landed very good, but whatever, you know, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, um... I just thought it was lame, though, just because this is the Reclaimer trilogy, you know, and you th you would think that you would get a nice big bow on this package, right? An, an, a satisfying conclusion to Halo Infinity, you know? Like, you're hoping for that, right? I mean, I was, at least, kind of. You know, I knew the game would suck ass, but I'm just saying, you know, like, hey, there's a way to do the story that's at least, nah, not too bad, you know? But they, they mostly failed, sad to say. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get a satisfying conclusion to the trilogy, so that sucks balls. Wasn't nearly as good as, like, Halo 3, you know? And, uh, yeah, getting Joseph Staten back, that didn't help that much, obviously. So, lame, whatever, though. Hey, what? He helped, he helped make Destiny, and that game turned out to be shit. So, I'm sorry, Joseph, if you meant well and had the best of intentions. Sometimes you were a hit, sometimes you miss. And you missed then, and you missed now, brah. That's the end result, okay? I, I, yeah. You seem like a nice guy. I'm sure you tried your best, whatever, dude. But the result is poo-poo. I'm sorry. Yep. Um, but yeah, you know, the Rise of the Machines, Cortana being evil storyline, it's pretty dumb shit, so, you know, whatever. But, uh, hey, the, you know, the Halo show, it might be good. They're doing a different timeline thing, so if they could just rewrite Halo and make the story still cool somehow by re with a rewrite, then, uh, you know, maybe it'll be good. I don't know. We'll see. I'm open-minded. I bet you it'll suck ass, actually, but, you know, <laughs> you know, I'd like to be proven wrong. I'm, I'm a hopeful guy. Yes, I am. 
Um, what am I talking about? Uh, yeah, progression, you know, it's slow and unrewarding in multiplayer and whatnot. Pretty lame. Uh, no forge mode. I don't know when the fuck that's going to be a thing. No playable elites, you know, of course, of course. Got to fuck over p players like me. I liked playing as an elite in in uh, Halo 2. No, not really. But in Halo 3, I kind of did for SWAT. But in Halo Reach, like being an elite in Invasion Slayer, as I stole enemy Spartan weapons from them, sniper rifles and rocket launchers and the like, and went into some kind of commando-like, you know, Rambo-esque style of play as I would sneak across the map like a fucking character from Metal Gear, you know, and just jump your ass and just be this assassin ninja motherfucker. You know, it kicked ass. I fucking have hilarious videos on my channel of me just dominating bitches as a fucking uh, elite with evade. As a matter of fact, I saw some fucking 343 fanboy channel douchebag fucking talking about how Sprint is like the greatest form of Sprint that we've ever seen in a Halo game, and Halo Infinite knocked it out of the park, <laughs> so to speak. Like, fucking shut the fuck up, dude. And it, it, his argument was that it was new, and it's not, dude. You've been able to fling your body around in the games for a while now. This is true, just true. Like, in H Halo 2, you can ride on the t tip of a warthog, and someone could drive it over a flag, and you could catch it and snag it and go flying out the fucking window in burial mounds, right? You know what I'm talking about, Jimmy. You were there for Halo 2. Um, uh, yeah, and then you got, like, fucking Halo Reach, where you can sprint, and if you sprint and you jump and you land on, on a tilting downward ramp slope, that'll give you a slight boost in speed. It will, dude. Uh, evade, if you use evade in Halo Reach, it, uh, on a ramp, it'll fucking jettison you faster and further. It will. Fucking Halo 4 even has the thruster, which can be used in a manner like that, and Halo 5 had th had thrusting and sliding and stuff, so come on, man, this shit's not really that new, enhanced mobility to zip around the map a little bit quicker, it just feels a little bit different, but, you know, it's nothing new, bro, just saying, uh, it's not very impressive, um, but yeah, uh, Sprint Sprint being in a Halo game, I don't have a big problem with it casually, but if you want to play, like, you know, competitive multiplayer and in a mode that actually is pretty impressive on a skill-based level, you, you, you're going to want to remove this the fucking Sprint, you know? Just keep it classic, bro. You know, that's where the legends are born. That's where the most epic battles have gone down. That's, that's where it's at. You know it. It's just true. Yeah, Sprint, what sucks about Sprint is two things. It encourages running away like a bitch because it's useful. It is, let's get real. Running away like a hiding little bitch. That's how you live. That's how you stay alive longer, by hiding like a fucking coward. <laughs> you know, like that's kind of the whole point, you know? But it's boring because you see a lot of people running away and instead of actually fighting to the death, you want to see the blood, the carnage, the action. You want it now. It's just more entertaining that way. It's vicious, it's raw, it's, you know, straight up. That's a battle. Not this fucking running away cat and mouse bullshit that Sprint provides the players with. So, Sprint sucks in that regard, and the other regard that Sprint sucks in is the, uh, you know, the, the ring around the rosy fucking shit. If there's an obstacle that you can keep circling... You can constantly outrun your enemy and keep your distance from your enemy, and your enemy will never catch up because you're just a coward. <laughs> you know, you can't shoot while while you run, so you'll never actually catch up to your sprinting, cowardly opponent and gun them down, you know? Like, unless you're, I guess, a little bit better at sprinting, maybe you can catch up eventually, but not really, dude. It's not hard, so... And you know what I mean. It still promotes the cowardly behavior. So because of that, um, it's just not very competitive. But you know, if you like it 
for casual social games and modes like that and campaign and co-op, yeah, who, who really gives a shit? Sprint doesn't matter to me in that regard. I'm just saying, if you want to see players throw down and truly see who, how, how good they are and who played better in said match, it's better to turn off Sprint. It needlessly adds something that's just kind of annoying and, like I said, uh, uh, I, okay, I'm done talking about Sprint. Sprint is stupid for the most part. Let's just get real. Um, just increase the default movement speed, goddammit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so... Yeah, no playable elites, no file share theater mode. I've heard there is one, but it's all fucked up or something. Like, and the file share system, does that even exist? Or And if it does, does it even work good? Because, you know, 343 are always fucking things up like that. Um, no Slayer playlist in PvP, so... But I heard they added one recently, so that's good, but still pretty dumb to have the game launch without it. Because I think Reach launched with one, straight up. No, it launched with, like, fucking two, dude. Arena, which didn't have the greatest rank system, and it allowed armor abilities, which was dumb. But, uh, you know, other than that, it was still Slayer. And then you had, of course, Social Slayer. And Team SWAT and Team Snipers, I think, were available too at launch. I can't remember. But whatever, man. 343 are kind of stupid and slow. So, but they finally got a dedicated Slayer playlist, so that's good, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, SWAT, you know, I heard they, they got SWAT in recently. And they called it something else instead of SWAT, which is kind of weird, but whatever. But that's good. They got SWAT, finally. Um, uh, tr metal tracking and, like, career stats. I heard that's glitchy and people are having a hard time finding those numbers. Um, yeah, uh, many items are stripped out of the battle pass to, to put in the store, you know. There's no armor customization earned from just playing the game, really. That's what I heard, you know. You... You have to pay for the color blue, basically, you know? Like, I heard you gotta pay for, like, red also. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude, you know? Uh, no cross-core customization. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, weaponized FOMO out the ass, man. You know, it's worse than mobile games, you know? This shit. Fucking. There's no FRG. There's no grenade launcher from Halo Reach, you know? There's no DMR. There's no carbine, there's no needle rifle. Like, what the fuck, dude? There's no Spartan laser, right? Am I am I hearing this correctly? It's fucking game, dude. <laughs> it's fucking game sounds like it sucks ass, this shitty Halo game, dude. What the fuck? Poorly designed challenges that uh, discourage the, the player from winning and just kind of suck the fun out of everything. Uh, ch challenge sw swaps, you know, uh... Let's, uh, let's, you know, you go through a system that's uh, just fucking bad, you know? It's painful. It's, like, it's filled with, like, consumables, you know? Like, it's just weird, man. This battle pass system that they have with uh, Halo Infinity. All the microtransactions, all the fucking horse shit. Double XP crap, you know? Oh my god. Forced crossplay with PC players? Lame. Like, you guys know I hate 343's guts like more than anybody, but motherfucker. Even I didn't see that one coming. Like, you gotta play with PC players? No crossplay? contamination <laughs> that's what I call it uh, yeah so that's lame I don't want to play against some mouse and keyboard motherfuckers especially in something like SWAT where they would have a pretty clear advantage because a mouse is good at pinpointing so fucking lame man whatever though whatever dude alright 
Yeah, so, yeah, win or lose, do really good, do really bad, it doesn't really matter, you get the same amount of points, you know, so the BKs don't get punished, and the good kids don't get uh, rewarded, it's uh, fucking kind of dumb, but, you know, whatever, no big deal, not everything has to be competitive, right? Like, you know, if you think Halo Infinite is not very competitive, which it ain't, it's not very competitive... If you think that, then go play, like, competitive settings in Reach, or, or Halo 3, or Halo 2, or Halo 1, right? That's what you do. You don't play Halo 4 for competitive, you don't play Halo 5 for competitive, and you don't play this fucking broken-ass, unfinished Halo game competitive either, okay? Fucking 343 told us this trash was unfinished, and that they were selling you an unfinished fucking product. They'd set it to your fucking faces... And you 343 three dick suckers fucking said, Yes, master, <laughs> whatever you say. 343, three, my master. That's, a, <laughs> that's what happened there. Fucking weird, you kids. Still supporting this company after all this time. Instead of just sitting back and making fun of how goddamn dog shit and stupid it is from a distance. Like, this shit's really fun. That's why I do it. Like, holy crap, this game is dumb. But anyways, uh, yeah, online play, it relies a lot on latency and internet strength, you know. You got poor internet and hit detection and shit like that happening. Like, nade splash damage doesn't register all too good, you know. Multiplayer selection playlist. Uh, yeah, the playlist selection, the amount of playlists is just ass, you know. Um... Yeah, the challenges kind of pressure you to play the new playlists instead of the older ones. So if you like the older ones, it's kind of like, fuck you, you know? That's kind of what that is. Um, yeah, uh, remember the chief in robes in the desert and, and, and talking to the Guardian? Remember that trailer, motherfuckers? Remember that shit? That, 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 that didn't amount to shit, man. That, that was nothing. Like, that didn't mean anything. That was just a weird promo that made no fucking sense, and that it was just kind of cringe, honestly. I remember 343 fanboys like, oh no, that's like something that's going to happen one day in like Halo 6. It's like, well, Halo Infinite is basically Halo 6, cocksuckers, and uh, it didn't happen, so bitch, please, stop being lame and weird. Good lord. What are you going to do? Um... Yeah. Um, good lord, it's getting late. Maybe I should take a take a nap. Getting old sucks. You need more sleep. Kind of. Well, no, you don't really. But I work so much and shit that I get tired. Um, but anyways, uh. Um. Yeah, that trailer was horseshit. Is my point. Uh, and the Spirit of Fire, you know, um, we don't really know what happened with them. Yeah, H Halo 5, it's largely like that game didn't happen. That's how Halo Infinite feels, you know? Which kind of makes me laugh, because it's like, what do they do? Were they going to, like, keep all the voice actors from Halo 5? But then, since everybody trashed the story, and the game kind of sucked ass and didn't sell that good compared to previous Halo games, that maybe they were like, all right, you guys are all fired, fuck off. <laughs> we're firing, like... Ten major voice actors from our game franchise. Get the fuck out. You're fired. Bye-bye. We're just keeping Chief and, like, maybe two other people. The rest of you get fucked. <laughs> you know? That's kind of like, wow, all right. But, um, yeah, the story's not very good. Like, you would think there would be a lot better continuity and just better writing in general. But, no, you really don't get that. The game's kind of fucking stupid. Um, some Gamergator types were mad at the game for being pro-trans or gender-neutral, because apparently you can, like, set your Spartan to gender-neutral or whatever the fuck, and, uh, you know, whatever, that's fine, that's cool, whatever you want to do, you know? I don't see why people should be upset about something like that. I guess there's the argument, you, you, you're wasting your time developing something like that. Instead of making the game better, it's like, that's minuscule stuff. It's just a, a animation or whatever, you know, like, 
or not even, you know, it's, who cares, it's a person in a space armored crazy suit, shut the fuck up, can we focus on something that we actually fucking care about that matters actually, like, is the game fun, does it have variety, you know, was it properly advertised, which it fucking wasn't, <laughs> Like, what we saw in that reveal trailer is not the fucking game that we ended up getting. Just saying. That's a fucking fact. You know it. It's true. Yeah. So, yeah, I also saw some creeps uh, freaking out about the Halo show coming out. They were worried that, like, Chief will talk about his gender pronouns and you know, talk about how he identifies or whatever. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, you kids are like, you kids are such incels. Oh my God, get lives. Jesus Christ. And like they were talking about that Wheel of Time show and they're like, it's so, f it's way too, it's way too feminist. It, it, it hates men. And it's like, no, it's just in a world that takes place where women are in control and men aren't. But then, if you actually watch the show, other men start becoming very powerful in the show and start actually posing a threat to women. And, like, that's just... A, it's just a fantasy. It's just this weird lore story thing, dude. It's not meant to be taken that seriously, you know? Like, I made a joke in my last video that Fernando, the uh, pilot... Yeah, uh, <laughs> Miguel Sanchez, my, my brother, fucking ridiculous... Um, <laughs> Uh, he is not really a soldier, but just a, a thief who stole the pelican, you know? He's just a thief. He, and I, I, I made, like, a fucking seemingly racist joke, you know? Like, oh, look at that, 343, making a stereotype of, you know, there's a dark-skinned person fucking stealing something, a fucking racist 343. It's just a joke, you know, whatever, you know? But, um, you, you know, like... These these kinds of guys criticizing the show that they haven't even seen yet, that we haven't even gotten many details on yet. Um, they're, they're being creepy incels, dude. The things they're saying, you know, like, fucking about that Wheel of Time thing. They were saying that the show just hates men. It's way too feminist. And then the guy started saying things like, it's hard enough being a man. And it's like, what are you talking about, dude? I'm a dude, and fucking my life is pretty fucking great. <laughs> like, everybody likes me and shit, and I, I have money and stuff, and I've gotten laid a few times and whatever. I can't complain that hard. Shit. <laughs> fucking, like, you're a dude. You rule the world, basically. Like, dudes with light skin. Dudes with light skin do uh, get to be the guys that do the most things on Earth. It's just sort of the truth, generally speaking. Like, so, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Stop being a creep, man. Fucking just shut the fuck up and watch the show, alright? Like, if you don't like the show's story for logistic, lo logical reasons, fine. But, like, this women-hating crap, like, good lord, take it easy, bro. Like, you are becoming, like, mass shooter, potential mass shooter vibes coming out of you, bro. Like, you hate women so much, you know? And you hear, you hear the stories sometimes where, like, crazy dudes lash out at women and kill a bunch of women. Fucking psychotic shit. Like, even if you run into a lady who's a bit of a fucking bitch to you, like, whatever, dude. Like, that doesn't mean you should lose your shit and start killing folks, okay? Good lord. Oh, that's something I wanted to address. Like, 343 sucks ass and everything, but there's motherfuckers that, like, gave them death threats and whatnot. And yeah, I know, 343 are a bunch of cocksuckers, and they duped you, they lied to you, and they false advertised again. They suck so much ass, they're, they're horrible. It's true, but, you know, let's not kill anyone. Let's just get to the bottom of this problem and solve this problem somehow. You know? Anyways, Jesus Christ, some people are nuts, right? Um, yeah, there's no Goss Warthog, right? Halo Infinite has no Goss Warthog, right? Yeah. Anyways, fellas, um, 
I guess I'll have to do a fucking part four because I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed soon. So I'm gonna do a part four video, I guess. I gotta do a bunch of shit tomorrow, then I gotta go to work and cat play catch up and maybe if I'm not too tired I'll do one last video. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna call it quits for the night. I'm tired. Fuck this shit. Um but yeah, these are sick, right? These are cool. I really dig those. I'm gonna make a green and red one, I think. Fuck yeah, dude. So anyway, uh, so yeah, guys, try to take care of each other. Try to not screw up too much. <laughs> what am I saying? Hey, check it out. I got this uh, tortoise shell, um, Jimi Hendrix style pick guard. It's fucking badass, right? I'm gonna put that shit on this guy. What do you guys think? Look at that shit. Boom. Right there, kind of. Sure. Yeah, that looks cool. That does look cool. I'm convinced. So, yeah, fellers. Good stuff. And I'm going to bed. So, yeah, try to take care of each other. Nobody's perfect, but try your best. And uh, make sure you actually get sleep, unlike me, who's being a jackass who eats fucking bad food every once in a while like a moron. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll try to do another video soon. Alright. Laters.